Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading for the week of September 9th. Uh, we are going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this knight card. It says triumph over adversity, and you have this dragon. It says strength and wisdom on it. So uh, two very good cards uh, kicking it off here. So you could be overcoming some sort of fear or something uh, challenging. That Ten of Swords came up in reverse, um, and which, you know, obviously could be a good thing, um, but it kind of looks to me like you could be overcoming a cycle. Uh, the Nine of Swords to me is always a cycle, uh, or it's something that we have repeated like multiple times in our lives. And so I would say that, you know, if you have been going through a difficulty or a challenge, that this is, you know, something that is coming to an end right here. <laughs> you have the Death card. You also have the Star. Uh, you know, I, th I look at the um, the Nine of Swords as being the worst card in the tarot. And, you know, mostly because it just represents a cycle that is never ending. You know, it's kind of like a never ending uh, nightmare. Uh, but you have the star. And, you know, the star always comes up after the tower, and the star can represent healing from a tower moment. You can't make that up there, Aries. Um, so I was literally saying tower as the tower came up. Uh, everybody has had the tower this week, so I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't get too excited about it. It's coming up in the good stuff in your reading as well, in the area of the good stuff. And you have the star in the reading, which definitely makes it better. But, um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if there were some global tower moments. And sorry, I feel like I'm off-center here, Aries. But, um, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if there were some global tower moments moments going on this week because again everybody has had the tower every time this happens something happens so you know there you go but you have the three of cups um you know it seems to be a really good time for socializing and especially if you need energy like if you are tired exhausted um you know, if you if you need like just uh, fu to have fun or anything like that, I think that it could be a really good time for you uh, to spend time with people who you know fill you up. Of course, I would make sure that you spend time with the right people. Uh, but the three of cups can just be your community, socializing, all those things, and then you go down to the ten of cups, and the ten of cups can also uh, represent your community or people in your life or people that you spend time with. So I think it could be a great week for doing that. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords, and again, it did come up in reverse. I don't read reversals. I read energy. That's why I don't read reversals. People always ask me, why don't you read reversals? I'm like, well, if you paid attention, I give reverse meanings all the time in readings. But uh, this did come up in reverse, so I will say that. But the Ten of Swords can represent a blessing in disguise. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind that you've been through some challenges or kind of like something that has repeated multiple times, like a, re a repeated story in your life. Uh, I think that it's really important for Aries to change their story uh, just in general at this time. You're, you're born very close to Taurus and Taurus always gets these messages about, um, you know, changing their story or, you know, changing how they see their story or whatever. Taurus, especially, I would say like if Taurus is your second house, again, you're gonna have to look at your own chart, but um, if you have happen to know that Taurus is your second house, um, which for most of you probably is, then I would say that uh, with that Uranus energy there, it could definitely make you um, kind of think about your value in the world or um, you know how, how you see your value in the world. And it can bring up some uh, situations that make you question your value in the world, right? And so I think for Aries in, you know, definitely Taurus, but again, if you have, if you have Taurus energy in your chart, then I would definitely say it's definitely true for you if you have more than just, you know, know, whatever. Um, but I think for all of you, you know, again, it's time to change the story. And, and if you're asking like where, I would say in something that keeps repeating <laughs> with the nine of swords. So if you keep doing the same thing that you've been doing, right, uh, then it, that is probably the story that needs to change. You know, it's like if everybody cheats on you or, um, you know, if you always make money and then lose it, or if you always waste your money or, you know, whatever the case may be, uh, I feel like that's what's changing um, in this reading. And obviously it's going to be a good thing uh, that this changes. And, you know, I think you're just kind of like working on making those changes. I do feel like you've learned a lot. You know, uh, he has this blanket right here and it's meant to represent a comfort blanket. And there are signs and symbols all over that blanket, like the astrological signs, uh, there are like transits and things like that, uh, that are going on on his uh, little blanket there. And so it kind of represents the fact that, you know, it's meant to give him comfort. Sometimes it can represent something not being painful enough to actually make a change. But also, uh, you can read it as the fact that it should be giving him comfort because he's been through so much and he's learned so much. You know, all those little signs there, they represent like transits that he's been through. And so it should give him comfort because he's learned so much that he can handle uh, anything that comes his way. So it's meant to like give you confidence that you can actually approach something or do something uh, in your life or to make a change, right? 
Uh, with the Three of Cups, you have the Six of Swords. Yeah, improvements. Uh, I think people are just focused on improvements in general. So, you know, I think people are more focused on improvements, I should say. So it wouldn't surprise me if you were just looking for general life improvements at this time. Like you could be more interested in like personal development work or you could be researching uh, personal development work, things like that. All, all, the, all of that stuff is kind of popping into my head. Uh, it could also be like your work or your business as well uh, that you are trying to improve with these Six of Swords. But I just get general improvements. I think you're done. You know, this this reading gives me the vibes of just being sick and tired of being sick and tired. And I'm not saying, you know, I don't think it's that dramatic for all of you. I just feel for some of you, maybe you've been feeling like a little bit stuck in the mud and you're trying to move forward. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Page of Wands. Yeah, Page of Wands is get, getting back to your nature, right? Uh, we end with the King of Wands. The King of Wands is your true nature. The King of Wands is Aries, right? And so I feel for a lot of you that you are just, really, that's all I get here as well, <laughs> you know, that you are just like kind of returning to your old Aries self, in, like in a good way. Uh, yep, with the Nine of Swords, you have the Ten of Wands stuck in the mud. He is weighed down. You know, if you think about it, if he was standing in mud, he would be sinking because he is carrying so much weight with the, those Ten of Wands. And so I feel a lot of you are really focused on freedom. It, 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 it almost gives me the vibes of you just trying to lighten up the energy in your life. And again, I think this is a good thing. Uh, this is definitely a good reading, not a, you know, not a bad one. It seems to me like you're overcoming challenges. Uh, you have this freedom card. There you go. And you have this revisit card as well. Yeah, I do think it's an amazing time. It's like you and Pisces, speaking of the two signs that, you know, create the airy sandwich, right? Pisces and Taurus. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of giving me the vibes of like a Pisces reading. Um, these two cards here, It. Uh, I feel a lot of you, if you are revisiting something to reinvent it, then I would say definitely. Um, I think it's an amazing time for Aries specifically uh, to do that. Like if you have a business and you're revisiting it to update it or to improve it in some way, uh, that would that could definitely lead to freedom. That could be amazing for you. Um, same thing with your health, your wealth, your happiness, like all, all areas of your life. If you're um, kind of thinking about something that you've tried before and you're wanting to do it again, but like in an updated way, uh, I would definitely uh, recommend that. I think that's going to be very good for you. Uh, you have the star, the hermit, and the uh, queen of pentacles. I think it's time to shine your star out all over the place. You know, the hermit he has his star in this lantern right here. And whenever I have like the star and the hermit, uh, sometimes it says to me that you are holding back a little bit too much or you need to reveal something to the world. Like this could be a talent, gift, skill, or ability, uh, something that you've been working on for a very long period of time. You know, it could be anything. But um, you do have the star, which is kind of says that you are going to be sharing a skill you know, or you're going to be shining bright in a bigger way. Uh, but I just feel that with the hermit, it's like not 100%. I feel like some of you are at like 60%. You know, and, and this is not a criticism, right? You know, it's like, I think what you're doing right now in your life is like 60% of what you could do. So there's like another 40, you, you got like another 40% that you could be, you know, expressing in the world. And this could be like a talent, gift, skill, or ability, or a business, or an idea. Um, it could be your health. It could be you uh, just, you know, getting out into the world. Uh, but I feel like you've gained a lot of knowledge uh, through things being difficult. Uh, you know, like I say to Pisces, and again, if you have Pisces in your chart, I would definitely uh, recommend watching the Pisces reading this week if you have Pisces in your chart. Uh, but like I say to them all the time, it's like, yes, your journey has been hard, harder th than it has been for other people. Uh, but the benefit of that is like you built, you have built bigger muscles, right? Because things have been harder, uh, you know, it makes you more, it will make you more successful moving forward because it's like you've had to go through more difficulties. You've learned better things. And, you know, I, I feel that that's what the hermit is saying is that, um, you know, it's like things have been hard. I think there's, I think there's a quote or something like that. I don't know who says it, but you know, it's like there's someone out there. There's someone <laughs> who says that I hope things are hard for you, right? And they mean that with love, right? Because you know, it, it, they say easy come, easy go. But if things are hard, and it's like yes, it's hard. It's a difficult journey. But if you get through it and you are successful, then you're going to be a hundred times stronger than anyone else, right? And so I kind of feel like you've been through that with the Hermit card. Uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles is resourcefulness. 
a lot of people get the Queen of Pentacles right now. And again, I would definitely, you know, not financial advice. I always say, like someone asked me for crypto advice the other day. I'm like, dude, I, I failed math my entire life. I am not the person to ask for uh, financial advice for. And I'm a Pisces, right? Pisces money just like slips right through their fingers. So wrong person to ask. But what I would say is that I would be very careful uh, with finances. I actually feel money uh, could be good for people on a personal level. But I just feel we're in a time where we shouldn't be wasting money, um, where we should definitely be thinking about like where money is going and also uh, being resourceful like if you can um, you know if you can uh, buy something on sale like do it even if you have plenty of money I, I, I think people should be thinking resourcefully right now and again I wouldn't worry about this I wouldn't panic about it I would just think about it right uh, with the star card you have the six of Pentacles I think it's time to start taking those small risks of putting yourself out there uh, with the six of Pentacles Six of Pentacles to me is a card of planting seeds and, um, you know, kind of taking those small little steps towards a goal. And the star is about having a North Star. You know, the star kind of represents the fact that um, you have some sort of big goal, wish, or dream, something you want to accomplish. And that Six of Pentacles says, start taking the steps. Uh, with the Hermit, you have the Two of Pentacles. I think if you only listen to yourself, then then you're going to get things done. I think if you listen to other people and other people's opinions, then you're going to have a hard time. Like all the fire signs, I think that one of the biggest fire sign challenges is other people uh, right now. You know, it's like maybe you were raised a certain way. Maybe uh, your family doesn't agree with what you're doing or f your friend, certain friends don't agree with your, what you're doing. And I always say, we don't have to cut these people out. I don't think we have to be that dramatic about it either. Um, but, you know, maybe we need to spend less time or we just need to keep things to ourselves until we, you know, get some, like our business done or, you know, if you're writing a book, until you get it published, then you can tell people about it. But, you know, I kind of feel this is about um, the two pentacles. I just see it as a choice in my head. And I feel like it's saying, listen to yourself right now. And that's it. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, quick success. Like I said, I would be focusing on like exactly what you can do. Um, you know, I, I always tell people, you know, my biggest fear for people over the next 10 years, like really until 2033 or whatever, is that people are going to just worry and do nothing you know, over the next 10 years because they're worrying. So they worry about things where they think like, you know, I was talking to someone the other day, they're like, well, there's no point in me starting my YouTube channel because AI is going to start creating videos and take over. I'm like, yeah, but we're years away from that. It's like, do what you can right now, right? And that's my concern for people is that they're going to worry about things that aren't going to matter or just really aren't, things aren't going to turn out how they think and they're going to get nothing done. And so I feel if you just focus on what's right in front of you, what's happening today, right now, this second, then you'll be much more successful uh, moving forward. And that's what I would do. Uh, this is also uh, right here. The Eight of Wands is a very good card for socializing. And you have the Ten of Cups. So like I said, it seems to be like a more social week this week. And if you have any opportunities to socialize, I would do it. Uh, you have this travel card. It says you're attracting positive movement. There you go. Or travel that will bring desires to fruition. Uh, this is the area of messages from your future self, by the way. Uh, you have this unrevealed secrets. It says what is happening on the surface is not what you'll see if you dive deeper. Yeah. Definitely in time to dive deep. I kind of got that feeling like I'm, I'm surprised that the Page of Swords didn't show up in this reading, for example. I'm also surprised that I don't see the Strength card because it's giving me strength vibes, the whole reading. Um, you know, it's like you've been patient, you've been building strength, and but this is in an area of your life that you've been working on. And so I feel this is saying like, don't just scratch the surface, you know, go on the full adventure, you know, go on the full journey to discover something uh, that you are trying to build, especially if you, especially if you're trying to build something like a relationship, a business, a career, you know, whatever it is. Uh, you have the death card, the t nine of cups and the 10 of cups. I kind of feel the death card is the light at the end of the tunnel because we go up like this, uh, nine of swords, 10 of wands up to the death card in this diagonal here. Uh, this is just giving me vibes of you, uh, you know, seeing the light, <laughs> you getting out of darkness. That is the nine of swords and kind of stepping into the light. Uh, you have the Nine of Cups. Uh, Nine of Cups is about a wish fulfillment, and it is also about, um, you know, this card kind of represents being in alignment with what you want. So I think it would be an amazing time for you to make sure that your energy is in, in alignment with the things that you want to create or manifest in your life. And that's really all I would focus on with this Nine of Cups. And as long as you do that, you will be moving in the right direction. Uh, you also have the Wheel of Fortune right here. So being in alignment is going to change your fortunes with that Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups. 
I, I do feel like a lot of you feel a stronger pull towards family or spending time with people who are very important for you and or, or important to you. So I, it's kind of funny because I get like a little bit of that energy of like wanting to go home, you know, even if you are home. <laughs> some Sometimes I think we have this feeling of wanting to go home. And that's kind of the feeling I get with the nine of cups or ten of cups. And I feel the ten of cups is, you know, just good for spending time with people. Uh, with the death card, you have the nine of wands. Don't give up now. Like definitely, uh, you know, again, like I said, it has been a hard, difficult journey. And, you know, what I would say is, you know, keep pushing forward. Don't give up because you're very close. Like don't give up before you have a victory, right? And it, yes, you, ha you have had to develop a lot of strength. Strength, like I was saying, I was surprised that the strength card didn't come up. Nine of Cups, you have the strength card. You have been developing a lot of strength, which we saw at the beginning of the reading. And if you give up now, then it's like you are a bodybuilder who just never gets on stage, right? And so I feel for a lot of you that this is saying that you need to keep pushing because uh, you're very close to accomplishing something. And if you give up now, then you, 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 know, you won't be able to show off. And I feel this reading is really asking you, I mean, the star is about being the star or stepping into the light. And so I feel for a lot of you, it's like you're about to get a lot of attention. Uh, with the Ten of Cups, you have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, like that nurturing, motherly feeling. Uh, you know, I feel some of you maybe literally just want to see your mother, right? <laughs> with the Ten of Cups, and I would do it if you have that feeling. Uh, I do get a, like a tiny bit of love here as well. So if you're looking for a connection, uh, there could be a new connection coming in. I, I get the feeling that a connection is like forming. So it's not even, you know, really... There's, there's not a ton of love here, and so maybe it's not here yet, but it's like maybe you, someone is capturing your attention this week, or you captured someone else's attention, and it's kind of like the beginning of it. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this card that says, Face Your Fears. You also have this blood moon that says, Courage, which we see a lot of in this reading, having the courage to move forward, even though... Uh, you have been through a lot. Nine of Swords, right? We talked about the transits uh, and, and the, the planets and the zodiac signs that are on the blanket that is covering the guy on the Nine of Swords. So I feel a lot of you have to have the courage. And again, you end with the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is you, Aries. It's your energy. And I feel like you're getting back to your true nature, like who you truly are. And this is probably giving you courage. He is the card of being bold, being confident, really going for what you want. So again, I feel like you are just embracing uh, that energy. Energy. Uh, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, I definitely feel uh, your fortunes are kind of like turning in your favor. Even that for your first card, that night card said triumph over adversity. It's like you're overcoming the difficulties and the challenges. Uh, you know, I always say that I look at the Wheel of Fortune as a card of momentum. We we have to keep the wheel spinning in the right direction. We can't like we can't stop. That's why I, I always say, you know, double down on the good stuff with the Wheel of Fortune. Repeat your successes. And, you know, it took me a long time to realize this, but it's like I I've noticed in and since I started teaching about YouTube in a couple of groups that I'm in, um, I've noticed like a lot of people are afraid to uh, repeat their successes. I tell people all the time, you have this successful video, do it again. And they'll always, you know, those people always say. Yeah, but what if people see this second video? I'm like, yeah, but you're making the same thing better. <laughs> it's like, who cares, right? And it's like, there'll be plenty of people who haven't seen it yet. There's, and you know, I kind of get that feeling with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like, if you've had a success, uh, repeat that success because you're building more momentum in the right direction. And that's what I would do here. Uh, finally, you have the tower. Again, the tower and the good stuff would just say that you're facing reality. And, you know, the whole point of the tower is that these people have been ignoring reality and now they're being grounded. They are being brought back down to earth so that they can see reality for how it actually is. And this allows them to move in truth. But again, uh, like I said, I feel that there could be global tower moments. Everybody's had the tower this week. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Devil. You know, it, kind of interesting on the Devil. I don't know what's going on with this camera, but uh, kind of interesting with the Devil. I feel that some of you are surprising a person or you have surprised a person by um, kind of like moving away from them in the past. And so, yeah, I, I like I, I feel like this person is thinking about you. I, this is very, sometimes, every once in a while I get a card that I'm like, man, that, that has nothing to do with the reading. <laughs> and, you know, that's how I feel about the devil is it's like totally a separate message uh, from what the reading is getting at. And so, again, I don't know. I feel like there could be a person that you surprised, but who, you know, it's almost, I don't know why it's popping up. I don't think it's important. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, you have the Emperor. 
Emperor, which again is you, uh, this is where you will be in your true power is again, doubling down on the good stuff, uh, you know, taking care of the challenges right away. But your fortunes are clearly changing in your favor. I feel like this reading is all about you. You know, uh, there's, you know, there are other people here, but really the focus is on you. Uh, with the tower, you have the page of pentacles, new beginning. So, and, and by the way, uh, you know, if, if you had a tower moment with a person, this could say that you have, you know, learned from that situation and now you are uh, kind of like getting into something new or you're meeting a new person. Uh, you have this torch card. It says spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. So uh, star card for sure, hermit for sure. The hermit climbs that mountain to go through a, you know, he's on a, He's been on a spiritual journey. He has been learning from the journey that he is on. Uh, you have this bow card. It says you are highly thought of. We said this star strength card. It's like you're getting a lot of attention. People are paying attention to you at this time. Uh, you have this February card and the stork card. It says news of a birth or a new business opportunity. I kind of feel like, again, you know, if you're working on something important, like a business, writing a book, you know, doing something, you know, maybe you want to keep it to, to yourself until like the beginning of the year, you know, of 2025. Uh, because maybe by that time, you'll really have it going, you'll have built a lot of momentum, which the Wheel of Fortune is all about building that momentum uh, before you tell anyone about it. And then once the momentum is going, it doesn't really matter what people say about it, because you have so much momentum going in the right direction. And that's what I would definitely do here. Uh, you have this victory card that says victory in some endeavor. Yeah, we see a lot of winning energy. The knight card, your very first card. So it definitely could be a victory. And you have this bridge. It says successfully overcoming a problem. Yes, the whole entire reading says that. So, uh, you know, again, pretty good. Uh, I like this for you, Aries. Pretty simple. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.